Hi, my name is Chad McLean. I'm the technical manager here at Storm, and today I'm going to be showing you some cool things about the new snap lock. When used properly, an asymmetrical ball can be your best friend, so it's very important to know your ball speed, rev rate, axis tilt rotation, and of course, your positive axis point when drilling such a dynamic ball like the snap lock. In a symmetrical ball, like the rocket ship, you are primarily concerned with numbers like the RG and differential. The differential is essentially the difference in the height versus the width of the core, the X axis versus the Y axis. The bigger the difference, the more the core wobbles as it's traveling down the lane, creating more flare which translates to more hook as it's trying to correct its own course. But in an asymmetrical part, like the snap lock, you have a tertiary core value to pay attention to, the intermediate differential. You now have an X, Y, and Z axis working in your favor. So, if you put a lengthier rolling layout on a rocket ship like a 6 inch pin to pat, your flare pattern is going to be really tight, as you can see here. But, if you put the same layout on an asymmetrical ball, your flare pattern is going to remain fairly wide because of that intermediate differential. This allows you to use some layouts that might not otherwise work on your symmetrical balls, enabling you to get the length you want while still covering a lot of boards laterally.